so I thought I'd share this with you guys. As you know, I went to the track a couple weeks ago, and I used this water wetter. I had my system flushed and got rid of the coolant. Yeah, thinking that if there was a crash, it would be better for the track, and I could keep lower temperatures. So the temperatures seemed to be a little lower with it. And when I was at the track, I didn't check my coolant level or the water wetter level because I had no need to and, well, no experience to pay attention to such things. And when I got the bike home after, you know, riding in 103 degree heat at the track um, and several hundred miles back and forth through the desert to get there, what I did notice was that my indicator wasn't showing a, a level. Uh, the bike wasn't running hot either, so um, I took the fairing off to look a little deeper, and as you can see, and trust me when I tell you that there's nothing in there, and when I uh, put a uh, piece of wrapped paper towel or other cotton substance all the way to the bottom, it's not soaking up anything. So that's just bone dry. And I was peeking around and you know looking at the cap here and saying, well, maybe it started to boil on me and uh, maybe it started escaping out this area. I didn't see any debris residue, but once again, you know, the water is distilled that it's mixed with and, um, you know, it may not leave much of residue at all if it boils off. So that's one place it could go. Otherwise, I haven't noticed any puddles anywhere. And, uh, you know, they did flush my system prior to going to the track and I, I did ride it a couple of times. But the level was consistent. It wasn't going down, you know, during regular riding experiences, at least, you know, the couple of short rides it took before going straight to the track. So at this point I'm wondering, is there a leak in the system or is this boiling out? It's going somewhere. And um, basically I'm going to fill it up now and keep an eye on it, look for any leaks and check the level during some regular riding. And uh, we'll go from there. And uh, I'll take it again to the track, bring some extra with me in case I need it, and give you guys an update. I think the last thing I want to do is bring it back to the shop, you know, to uh, unnecessarily spend money when we can just do more pragmatic diagnostics. Either it disappears or it doesn't. And either it's as hot as it was last track day or it's not. I guess we'll see. So I filled it back up. It, uh, it took just enough to fill the overflow container. And then I took it for a ride and, you know, just a, a ride around here, about 20 minutes. Got the RPMs up to uh, 11, 12,000 a couple of times. It wasn't anywhere near as harsh as it was on the track, of course. It was actually pretty cool outside and, you know, the duration was really limited. But, you know, nothing flagrant right now. The level seems to be the same. I'm not seeing anything dripping from the bottom, you know, down here on the floor. Um... You know, it's kind of warm in this garage, so this could evaporate before I can notice it too, but I'll keep an eye on it. Like I said, the amount missing was about the amount to fill the overflow container itself. And uh, it didn't take any more than that before it topped up. So I took it out for a couple of hell rides, about four hours of total riding. Made sure I stayed above 10,000 RPM for a good amount of time, because I wanted to check this coolant. And... You know, it's staying at max. I know you probably can't see it. It's the pink stuff in there, but you know, it's over the max line. It hasn't dropped at all. I was in unique circumstances. It was, like I said, pushing 100 if it was like mid 90s to you know 103 out there in the desert, and it was uh, you know nearly a thousand miles total that weekend. So it could have been the extreme circumstances. I don't know if this stuff boils off or escapes the um, the overflow cap somehow, but I'm not seeing any leakage. You know, on, on certain parts of the bike, I'm not seeing it dripping down these hoses here. I'm not seeing any sort of residue. Um, took the fairing off a couple of times and it was looking for evidence that something was squirting out. So it seems to be pretty solid. Hopefully it'll hold up going back to the track this weekend. And if I lose fluid, I'll let you know.